and welcome to another video on the Carefusion Rebel Ventilator. Today we're going to be discussing the use of uh, nebulized medication uh, through the ventilator. First thing you're going to need is uh, the nebulizer uh, kit, your nebulizer chamber. The included uh, T-piece adapter that comes in the nebulizer kit and then the oxygen tubing uh, color-coded uh, blue attached to the blue side and then green attached to the oxygen um, delivery system whether it's the vent or a re regulator. Uh, to utilize the vent you're going to need a separate uh, T-piece connector with a uh, valve built into it. As you can see, spring-loaded. When you press it up, it opens up the, the valve. This allows uh, for maintaining the closed-loop system within the ventilator circuit. When you put your chamber inside, it lifts up the valve and allows medication uh, to be dispensed through the system. Now to use nebulized medication within the system. As you can see, we have our vent circuit. There's two sides uh, to, the, to the Y. Uh, this side here is the uh, exhalation side, which terminates in a relief uh, disc on the end. The other side is the inhalation uh, side, which is the part of the tube that actually uh, runs and connects directly to the vent itself. As you can see, the exhalation side is crimped onto the Y and it's not removable. However, the inhalation side, you can twist and remove. You're going to put your uh, valved T connector. You're going to connect the wider side directly to the hard plastic Y and then the vent in inhalation side to the uh, to this side of the port. You would connect your oxygen and now you have two choices. You can use the ventilator to provide oxygen to the uh, nebulizer medication or you can hook this up directly to a separate oxygen source. If you use a separate oxygen source, um, you're going to be providing continuous medication through the inspiratory side of the uh, ventilator. Uh, it'll run even on the exhalation side of the vent cycle. The medication will be uh, flowing uh, into the tubing. You also uh, would have to manually shut off the oxygen source once uh, the treatment was completed. However, if you choose to use the ventilator, you're going to attach the O2 tubing to the port just above the high pressure port, specifically for nebulized medications. Okay, we're going to go out of standby here. So now to access the nebulizer, you have to go into the extended menus and you're going to go to nebulizer. You're going to hit select and then you're going to get four choices. You're going to get neb start, neb cancel, neb duration, and then neb sync. If you go into neb sync, you have two options. Continuous and inspiratory only. The inspiratory only is specific to ventilator operation of the nebulizer medication. What happens is the ventilator will only push medication through the nebulizer system on the inspiratory, uh, beginning of the inspiratory cycle of whatever um, of the uh, AC volume mode, uh, which is the only mode, breath mode and breath type, that you can utilize the nebulized medication. Uh, you cannot use SIMV, CPAP, pressure, or PRVC for this. You must use an AC and volume. Uh, the nebulizer system will not allow, will not show you the neb start menu if you're in any other breath mode. So we're going to go back into our 
our menu. Go to Nebulizer. All right, we're going to do continuous just for the sake of, and then the, the other the other option you have is neb duration. You can set it for as many minutes as you like. So uh, we'll leave this on 10 minutes. We'll hit select. And then you would hit neb start. And now you can hear it's running continuously. And you press it in. It'll just continuously uh, feed medication through for the duration And as you can see in the display window, with all the other parameters that the vent will give you, you'll see a timer for the, the nebulizer so you know how much time is remaining. And as you can see, nebulizers, timer's running. When you're finished with the treatment, all you need to do is remove, and using this T connector, you can just cover the port, the valve closes, and your system is, uh, is still a closed loop system, so you shouldn't have any uh, issues with uh, leaks. If you do start to get a lot of leak alarms, um, uh, I would just remove the T-piece and reconnect the uh, inspiratory uh, hose directly to the Y. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Fusion Revel Ventilator. Today we're going to go over how to access the extended menus uh, within the Revel Ventilator. To access the menus you need to have the vent on and operating in any of the, the breath modes. Um, to access the menus uh, you make sure there's no uh, alarms still up on the display screen that there are. Hit the reset button to clear them out. You're going to want to go up, hold the select button down for about three seconds, and then the standby will pop up. This uh, first menu will allow you to um, put the vent in standby mode while leaving the vent on, so it'll cease ventilator operation, but the unit will stay turned on. As you can see, um, on the left is a uh, flowchart of all of the uh, extended menu uh, options uh, on the ventilator. The other ones we're really going to uh, focus on is the standby, uh, which, as I said, puts the, mo the, the ventilator into a standby mode while uh, ceasing actual vent operations while leaving the unit turned on, nebulizer, and the vent control. The other menus um, uh, really aren't uh, necessary to utilize for the uh, you know, daily use of the, the ventilator. Um, so nebulizer, as you can see, there's four options, neb start, neb cancel, the neb duration, and neb sync. 
our alarm config. Um, you can change the different parameters uh, of the alarms, the volume, uh, the tones, the delays, uh, but we aren't going to touch those. Those are preset based on uh, the department's um, uh, mandate. Vent control, as you can see, is the other uh, menu that we're uh, going to access fairly frequently. Um, this go into that. Um, allows you to configure the rise time, uh, flow termination, time termination, the bias flow, leak compensation, and the pressure trigger. We'll go over um, uh, some of these items uh, in other videos in relation to uh, specific breath modes and breath types. Uh, the bias flow um, you will utilize uh, typically if you're trying to utilize the nebulizer function. Uh, it may give you a, an error message saying the bias flow is under 10. You would need to go into this uh, particular menu and change uh, the flow. Typically it'll be set to 5. If you do a new patient, it defaults back to 5. You'd have to change it to 10 using the selector knob and then hitting select. And then to exit out of the controls, you just hit, hit exit until you start seeing the parameters displayed on the, on the display. So that is how you access the extended menus on the CareFusion Rebel Ventilator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.